Contender Regime Boxing checking back in with y'all, man. What's happening? What's happening, man? Shout out to the WBC for doing what's right, for doing what's correct. You know what I'm saying? I guess they must have heard our roar over here at Contender Regime Boxing and along with other people that have, you know, complained about the unjust behavior that's been going on with the brother Devin Haney. You know, now, if a lot of y'all didn't know, if some of y'all didn't know, Devin Haney was the real, the real regular WBC lightweight champion of the world. The real champion, Vasil Lomachenko, had just beat Luke Campbell. Number one, he took Luke Campbell away from Devin Haney. Devin Haney was supposed to be able to fight Luke Campbell to be... Uh, for the number one contender spot for the WBC, right? So he took that away from Devin Haney. Everybody say Devin Haney ain't fought nobody. He ain't getting in the ring with nobody. Lomachenko took that opportunity away from Devin Haney. Devin Haney was supposed to fight Luke Campbell. He ended up fight Lomachenko fought Luke Campbell. And as the unified champion at that time, he had the WBC, the WBO, and I believe the WBA. I think he had WBA, WBO, and the WBC. So at that point, once he took that opportunity away from Devin Haney, he beat Luke Campbell. At that point, Devin Haney became the mandatory for Lomachenko. WBC mandated that he fight Devin Haney or you vacate the belt. Well, in this case, top rank Bob Arum and team Lomachenko, they pleaded their case to get the WBC franchise champion, which is basically a legalized ducking belt or it's like a protection plan to where you don't have to fight or defend your title. You don't have to fight nobody for this belt. You can't lose the belt. It's basically a legal way to avoid fighters. That's basically what it is. So he took that belt. He went under the WBC franchise protection plan and avoided Devin Haney. Now he is going to go fight Teofimo Lopez, which is going to be a unification fight, which is I'm all for unification fights. That's fucking awesome. That's what I, I want to see undisputed in every division. However, they cut Devin Haney out of his opportunity to get in the mix. So Devin Haney fought for a vacant title. He won the title, became the real WBC champion. Now they say um, he didn't fight a top contender for it. Devin Haney had already been, you know, he had won like a, a subdivision title at lightweight just by fighting the guys on his way up, working his way up in the ranks. And WBC said, look, he's the number one contender. He's the mandatory for Lomachenko's belt. If Lomachenko not going to fight him, then that's Devin Haney's belt. Why not? You didn't give him his opportunity to fight for the belt like a real man supposed to. So what you going to do? He got to get compensated for his work, for his efforts. You know, he truly wants to be champion. So they elevated Devin Haney as the real WBC champion. Now, Devin Haney fought two fights. Then out of nowhere, he gets a shoulder injury, you know, shoulder injury. Okay, cool. He got to sit out for a little bit. They didn't even have the full timeline on how long this was going to take. You know, Devin Haney ended up on his way to recovery not even a week or two weeks, they put him on franchise. They put him on um, champion in recess, basically saying, look, we going to take your title away while you recovering from your surgery, from your injury. And we're going to put your belt up and let Javier Fortuna and Luke Campbell fight for the vacant title. This man ain't even been champion for a month yet. And y'all gone, or he, you know, he champion, and then he get an injury. It ain't even been a month since the injury, and y'all already talking about champion in recess? 
That was kind of strange, right? You know, so they put him in champion in recess. Now the coronavirus happened. Boxing is at a standstill. Devin Haney fully recovers from the injury, surgery, all that. Now he's back in the gym looking better than ever, faster, stronger, you know, shoulder looking amazing. They had to revisit the idea, which only made sense because Fortuna and Luke Campbell ain't had no fight. Obviously, ain't nobody fighting right now. Devin Haney is fully recovered. Why shouldn't he be the champion? We played the case. Shout out to everybody that, you know, put that energy out there that let it be known. Like, bro, this was some bullshit. Ain't no way you should have took the title from him anyway. Guys have held belts, especially in the WBC way longer than Devin Haney without having a fight. You know what I'm saying? So they prematurely stripped him, stripped the title from him. And now all order has been restored. Devin, the dream, AKA Black Jesus Haney is now the real WBC champion. Like he should have been. He got his belt back. And if anybody want to be undisputed at 135 pounds, you got to fight Devin Haney, period, bro. Ain't no excuses, ain't no bullshit. You gots to see Devin Haney. You dig what I'm saying? So what I expect to see now is Lomachenko fight Teofimo Lopez for the unification match. They gonna unify the IBF, the WBA, and the WBO, which is awesome. Devin Haney got the WBC. I expect Devin Haney to fight either Luke Campbell or Javier Fortuna. I, I would prefer Luke Campbell because he, to me, even though Javier Fortuna can fight, I like Luke Campbell. He's a fresher, younger fighter, and he's been more active and been in bigger fights recently. So I'd rather see him get in there with Devin Haney. That way, Devin Haney beat up on him. He going to get more stripes. You know what I'm saying? Plus, Luke Campbell went all 12 with, with, uh, with Lomachenko. I think Devin Haney could possibly stop Luke Campbell. You know what I'm saying? And that was a hell of a fight. That was a great fight, Lomachenko versus Luke Campbell. That was a great fight. You know, so I think Devin Haney can go ahead and get some stripes off, off up off of uh, Luke Campbell. And then the winner out of Lomachenko and Teofimo Lopez need to go ahead and link up with Devin Haney. You know what I mean? Unification undisputed. It's only right. You dig what I'm saying, man? I'm so excited about this. This really makes me, you know, have positive vibes about boxing coming back. You know, and um, it's good to see them actually do something that, you know, that makes sense. That's, you know, uh, restoring order, you know, with these belts. Because it's number one, it's already too many titles going on. And then you got guys that shouldn't have titles. They got titles and things like that, you know. But Devin Haney is a real champion. And I'm glad that they made this right, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Contender Regime, boxing. I holler at y'all boys, man.